Hello, Earth citizens. In this video, I will show you a 10-minute routine to boost your internal strength. Did you know that the powerhouse of your body is in your second chakra, which is located two inches below your navel and two inches inside? Imagine a space kind of like this, existing literally in the center of your body. That is your powerhouse. So when we do mindful movements to focus and compress energy into that powerhouse inside of your body, in brain education, we call that panchan, the center of your energy. If you can focus energy into that core, it's like recharging your battery inside of your body. So you know when you feel really tired, even if you sleep for a long time or eat a lot, it's because even though you're eating and sleeping well, if your energy in your center is low, you can feel chronic fatigue. So let me show you some movements and some postures where you will hold a certain angle of your body and do mindful breathing to focus energy into that core so that you can build your internal strength and also recharge your internal battery. So to start, Hug the back of your thighs like this. We're gonna do some rolling back exercises to loosen up our spine. Let's do 10 rolling back exercises. All right, ready? Start. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now bring your back down to the floor and move your lower back side to side. Massaging your kidneys side to side. Exhale out through your mouth. Ooh. All right, now bring your feet down to the floor. And now we're going to do hip bounces. So lift your tailbone and tap your sacrum and tailbone to the floor like this, as if you are breaking up the blockage in your sacrum area. So right behind your second chakra. Let's do 30 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty. Great job. Now drop your knees to the left side and twist your Head to the right side. And now switch, knees to the right side, head turn to the left. Feel the stretch in your lower back. It's good to open your lower back first before we try to accumulate energy into your tendon. Okay, now return. All right, now place your, low, your hands on your lower belly. And now I want you to Lift your legs 90 degrees. Have about a fist width of space between your knees. A fist width of space, so they're not together and they're not far apart. Fist width of space between your knees. Make your knees 90 degrees. And then lastly, pull your toes inward. So you can feel a nice opening on the bottom of your feet, especially your Yongchun points. This point is linked to your kidneys. So when you hold this posture underneath your palms, you will feel a little bit of air pressure in your lower belly. If you feel that slight bit of pressure, you're doing a good job. If you go too in like this, you won't really feel it. And if you go too out like this, it'll be way too difficult. So a nice 90 degrees. Pull your toes in, fist width of space between your knees, and stay here. And as much as you can, breathe into your lower abdomen. 
If this posture feels very uncomfortable, you're doing a great job. It's not supposed to be easy. You're essentially compressing energy, all the energy that you have down to your core. If you're very sensitive to energy, you will immediately start to feel hot. So we'll just breathe here. You can close your eyes now because we will not move. Hold this posture. If you feel shaking, that's a good sign. Shaking means blockages are opening. No matter what, hold this posture without moving. Try to breathe deep into your lower dungeon energy center. Your body will feel hot very quickly. Blockages will open. Your mind will become very calm. Hold this posture and tap into the internal strength that you don't usually tap into. Breathe. Breathe. And even though this posture is hard, with each breath, try to relax your body into the ground a little bit more each time. Relax your body to the floor a little bit more each time. You can do it. Let's hold this posture for one more minute. You can do it. And now for the last minute, please lift your palms into the air, pull your wrists back, and bend your elbows slightly. Not too much, not lock them, just slight bend, about five, 10 degrees. And you will feel that air pressure in your lower abdomen becoming much stronger. Feel your lower abdomen and hold it for one minute. Keep saying to your body, I am strong. I am strong. I am strong. And no matter what, don't give up. I am strong. 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 I can do it. 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 I am strong. I am strong. Keep telling your body that positive information so that whatever pain, blockage, heat you feel, you burst through all of it and you hold this posture to accumulate powerful energy in your core. Last 30 seconds. I am strong. I can do it. I can do it. I am strong. I can do it. 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 Okay, now for an added boost, we're going to lift our head for 10 seconds. So lift your head and look at your belly button. Lift 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 
Bring the bottoms of your feet together. Lower your knees. Hands down to your lower abdomen. Drop your knees to the floor. Relax your shoulders. Relax your chest. Relax your whole body. Even relax your lower back. Sacrum, tailbone. Exhaling out. Ha. 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 Great job. Now slowly bring your arms to the side, stretch your legs, turn your body to the left side and sit up please. <sighs> How do you feel? Did you feel heat as you were holding that posture? The thing about charging your second chakra, one of the first things you feel when you bring energy powerfully down to your core is you feel hot. So if you feel heat, that's a good sign. Some people actually feel colder when they do this. That's also a good sign too. That means all the toxic stagnant energy is being pushed out. So know that if you have chronic fatigue, if you, no matter what you do, sleep for a long time, eat a lot of stuff, you still feel tired and drained, know that energetically you are low in your second chakra. So holding this posture, although it may be hard to do it for one or two minutes right now, with more practice, you'll be able to breathe deeper into your core and then hold the posture for longer too. The longer you can hold this posture, actually, the better it is. Just like when you charge your phone, the longer you charge, the more charged you get until you get 100%, right? So you wanna work up to, I would recommend maybe like 10 minutes is a good, good uh good timing or even maybe 20 minutes if you can get up to 20 minutes that's a really 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 good sign building this as a tool to recharge your energy center you did a great job to experience a full one hour brain education based class please visit a local body and brain yoga studio near you